is my hair like crazy, crazy? Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. It has been a minute. It has been like a thousand minutes since the last time I recorded a video. And you guys, I've been so busy with work, <laughs> full-time job, that uh, I did neglect things for a long time there. I just could not fit anything else in my schedule. And as you know, it's not so much sitting down to record YouTube videos that is difficult. It's the editing. It takes a lot of time. So anyways, without further ado, here is a new video for you. Today we're gonna do my empties video. Y'all, I've been saving up empty bottles and containers for pretty much a whole year. <laughs> this video, video is long overdue. So I have a tub full of stuff. I know we're not gonna get through all of it today because it's a lot, y'all. Like I have a bin, a lot of stuff that I've been saving. Ah. <sighs> So without further ado, let's begin. All right, so the first product I'm gonna talk about um, is actually, so it's a micel micellar, micellar water. Hello. No, micellar water. Um, let me tell you about micellar water. Water, the can't even say it. For years, I have been using really just coconut oil or an oil to remove my makeup and I wear contacts. So I have to be very, very careful. If I get the tiniest bit of oil in my contacts or in my eye, I have to take out my contact. I really have to like rinse it and sanitize it and get the oil off. So once I discovered micellar water, I felt like um, I wasn't gonna have those things uh, happen to me again. So I swear by this stuff. Now this, I'm pretty sure I got this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It's usually the first place I'm willing to spend money on new pro on new beauty products. So uh, I think I paid $4.99 for this big bottle. Anyways, I wanted to try it out. I didn't want to, you know, spend like 10 bucks Neutrogena. I actually heard that you can make micellar water. So I'm curious. I'm gonna have to watch some videos about that. See what this stuff is made of because it really really gets off the mascara. So if you are still using, you know, just soap or a cold cream, if you're my age, you might still be using a cold cream. If you have not tried mus micellar water, please do. It's, it's awesome. So especially if you're contact lens wears, like me, who does not love a Pacifica product? So this one is, so it's rose and peptides body lotion, rose, apricot, and peptides. First of all, it's, it's not a thick lotion. It's definitely a thin lotion, a body lotion, I would say, um, unless you, you know, really need like thick lotion in certain, you know, certain parts of your, your body. Obviously I liked it. It's by Pacifica and it's one of my brands that I get inspired by when I'm designing for Bad Girl Bomb. If you don't know what that is, click the link in the description down below and check out what I've been working on all of 2021 and all my spare time that I could get, which is why I've also been neglecting YouTube. Sorry. This is not really a beauty product per se, but it kind of is. So my puff, my body puff, my bath puff. I love this thing. I love this thing. I like the little frills. Okay, see that? I don't know if you can see it, right? Look, how, look at the color. Look at that. It's a beautiful color. I saw this probably Marshalls or TJ Maxx. God forbid I have a credit card there. First place I get lost. I love these things and either I need to figure out how to, I guess like sew it kind of back into a tighter bundle, if that makes any sense, or I need to stop using them because this is plastic. <laughs> Ever since this, I've retired poofs and I went back to an old fashioned bath rag. Videos aging me. <laughs> so many times either you better figure out how to sew it and keep it longer or how many of these could we go through in a year once or two like like one or two maybe think of that every year us getting older and older like throwing these in I mean 
mean, I'm sure some of this is going in a landfill. Um, if anybody knows of a company out there that does poofs that are biodegradable, I don't know how that would happen because you would think if it's in water, it's going to break. Anyways, if somebody knows about a company that sells eco-friendly body wash poofs, <laughs> please, please email me. Actually, just drop the comment below. Thanks. Next product. Oh, yes. Who doesn't love this brand, y'all? Here we go. Boom. I think it's called We. I used to think it was Qua. <laughs> I don't know why I thought there was a Q in there. I actually got this in a Fit Fab Fun Box um, a long time ago. And oh my God, y'all, it smells like heaven. It, it, I used to have a bottle of Coco Chanel uh, a long time ago. I think it was Coco de Chanel number five. And when I opened this bottle, it was like a woof of like amazing old lady perfume. <laughs> That's what Coco Chanel smells like to me. But like, it's also, it's luxury. But when I wore that in my 20s, I felt like I was like that rich, older woman, a rich, older woman's perfume. Anyways. That's what this we reminded me of. This is the uh, leave-in conditioner and it's 4.7 ounces. And I got this, I, I feel like y'all, I really only would put this in my hair when I knew I was going to be around a guy <laughs> or I was going to go out with my girls. Cause this stuff smells so good. If you were to walk past somebody, they're like, they're going to smell this like luxurious, clean salon hair. Like you just came from a, hair salon and got a blowout. It's like, smells so luxurious. This is making me want to order it like right now. Oh my God, y'all. Next, right here, guys, it's an eyebrow color. I, look at that, it's, ar it's already come off. Like you don't even, you don't even see it. You just don't see that. And it's not that I used it. It really, I didn't use it at all, which is why it's in this video. <laughs> For me to review and tell you guys don't do it but i think it says yeah it is l'oreal so i'm gonna show you this is eyebrow like pomade color it's it's a doe foot uh tip which is basically what people it's lip it's a lip gloss thing so i'm i'm not you would have to be really careful with this, okay? If you're going straight to the brow or what I suggest is for you to get a spoolie, uh, specifically the little eyebrow spoolies, the little teeny, teeny, tiny ones that are just so precise. And I would just dab this on the brush and then go at it with your eyebrows. It's always better to go in lighter than darker, but I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll use it, but I like, I like the eyebrow contents to be on the spoolie. Hair and face care. Okay. Let's pick something for the body. I had this, it's like, it's a no name brand, but it's relax champagne charcoal scrub. Pretty sure I got this at TJ Maxx or Marshall's smells so good. Not everything at TJ Maxx and Marshalls smells good either. So that's why it's at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Next product. I don't know if we've done one for the face yet. Okay. Guy walking his dog right outside my window and I don't want, okay, there we go. Let's see. Vasant. It says Vasanti. Vasanti. <laughs> Brighten up enzymatic face rejuvenator. Okay. Definitely a yes. Okay. Look at the bottle again, y'all. You got to find it somewhere because I got this in a fit fab and fun box a long time ago. This literally micro crystals and aloe. That's what I loved about this. It was the perfect face scrub. I don't normally like to have face scrubs on my face. I will use a vibrating brush for that, um, to basically exfoliate my face. But 
when you find or when I find a face scrub that has those little micro scrubs, oh, you cannot beat that, y'all. It's it's perfect for when you, you know, maybe you're traveling and you don't want to carry too much stuff. So you just actually take some of the scrub and put it in a container. This is awesome. In fact, this doing this video makes me want to buy this again. Okay, two items, two items now I want to buy again. Maybelline Tattoo Studio. This is thick. Okay, so when you sharpen it, even the point is thick. And it's like a crayon, so even doing it light-handed, it was so difficult because it would look really dark. I do like the spoolie on this one. All right, but this is more difficult to work with. I won't be buying it again, but I'm gonna use the rest of this. Okay, so for our next products, I'm gonna put two items in this category because they're, they're the same thing, basically, but I'm gonna tell you which one I like better. Okay, they're both Pacifica face moisturizer. This one is a light moisturizer and this one is a heavier moisturizer. So out of these two, this is the one that I needed every day. I don't know about you, but sometimes some of us like the feel of moisturizer on our face. I couldn't feel if I didn't feel that this was doing anything. In fact, sometimes I would just feel just as dry. Then I'd be grabbing this one and putting it, usually your cheeks are drier. This is the one I would totally buy again. Like this is really, really good. It's not a thick, like a body butter thick. It's just thicker than a super thin face moisturizer. It's again in a heartbeat. This one right here. Ah, yes. Urban Therapy Twisted Sista right here. This is like well, a gel cream. It, it feels really thick, so you definitely have to be careful. It feels like a gel, so be careful when you're putting it on wet hair, um, even though I have to put my stuff on my wet hair. But anyways, I liked it. Recording a YouTube video. This is Vibrant Sexy Hair by Sexy Hair, Rose Elixir. This is like a um, hair and body dry oil, but I honest, I use this on my hair. I really, maybe once I used it as a body spray. There's still some in there, but it smells really amazing. God, ooh, this, okay, you know what? Mm, I'm gonna have to buy this again. <laughs> Shea Moisture. So there's the bottle. I gave this a thumbs down, okay? Thumbs down. It says sensitive skin. I don't, I don't even have sensitive skin. Like I'm not someone who's ever been deemed with sensitive skin. And when I use this, this burned my skin a little bit. Like very light, but definitely a burning sensation. And I stopped using, I mean, I, I somehow finished all of it, obviously, but like, no, no way to this. Don't buy this, especially if you have sensitive skin, because I'm telling you right now, I don't have sensitive skin and it still burned me. So I would toss this. Who stayed? Thank you so much. Here's the last item and you're going to want to be in on this one. The magic. I'm guessing you can guess what it's for. <laughs> Intimate wellness cream. So um, just in case you're young and you don't know or you haven't had a kid yet, um, sometimes women get dry down there. <laughs> um, maybe certain times of the month. Uh, I know for sure I experienced it after having a child as my body was healing. Uh, but I didn't just use this for dryness once in a while. I use this for the intimate part. Okay, I did for the intimate part. Um, it's just good. It's it's. Ve I'm hoping it's ve is it vegan? Well, it's all organic. Anyways, it's organic and it's got some good stuff in it. I actually am in the middle of formulating my own pleasure balm. Balm, not balm. Balm. 
pleasure balm. So basically an intimate cream for self-pleasure. So if you want to hear more about that, click, go to my website, badgirlbalm.com. It's right there in the show notes. That is the um, little side hustle that I've been building. Anyways, thank you. That was the last product for my video showing you guys the empty bottles of stuff that I've used. And, you know, to your own discretion, buy or not buy. Ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-